We cannot solve problems by using the same thinking we used to create them. Albert Einstein, you got to get that. We cannot solve problems by using the same thinking we used to create them. Those are powerful words by Albert Einstein. Hello, good morning. Good afternoon, good evening. San Bonani, Dumelang, Absheni, Molweni. Huyamora, Huyamira, Huyanach. Wherever you are, wherever you are watching, welcome. Welcome to the JT Junior Takis program. This is Critical Thinking Part 3. You're just tuning into Part 3. What about Part 1 and Part 2? Ah, uh -uh. no shortcuts in life. You must go back. You gotta go back. In Critical Thinking Part 1, I share with you what critical thinking is. What's the definition? I share with you why this skill, critical thinking skill, is so important for you, for your profession, for your dreams, for your goals. I share with you the power of your thoughts. So you must go back to part one. Go back, go back, go back after this one. Part two, I give you a challenge because it's about activating what's inside. It's about taking the information that you have and applying it and seeing whether it's true. It's boring just to take in information and never test it, right? It's like you've got a Ferrari, but it's just sitting in the garage. You want to go out and test it, yeah? So that's what we want to do. And that's what we do in part two. We've given you the information. Now I give you a challenge. And trust me, it's a challenge. It's easy. You can do it. You can conquer it. You want to know what the challenge is? Yeah? Go back to critical thinking part two. Now we are critical thinking part three. And this is where we debrief. This is where we come together and say, let's look at the challenge that I gave you. Let's look at the challenges you may have come across. And also, let's look at the solutions. But what is debrief? Like, what is that? It's quite a big word, right? Well, I think so. Debrief is a reflection of a project. So you do a project, you then come together and say, let's look at it, let's reflect. What did we learn? What were the experiences? What actions did we take? What can we improve on? It's important for you to debrief in any project that you do so that you don't make the same mistakes in the next project. Your critical thinking skill is also challenged when you debrief, right? Because you're having an argument. What worked? What didn't work? What should I do? critical thinking comes into play. You've been tested, yeah? Let's look at some of the challenges you may have come across while doing the challenge I gave you in part two. Number one, misunderstanding. You kind of don't get what the other person is saying and this misunderstanding could be as a result of a lack of information, a lack of evidence, a lack of facts, your assumptions what you think the other person is trying to say, right? So that's one of the challenges. You just come across a misunderstanding. Maybe the way in which someone says something means something to you, and then it's not really what they're saying, right? There's a bit of a misunderstanding there. The second challenge you could have come across is emotions, right? So you're having a debate. Remember the challenge I gave in part two? You're having a debate with a colleague. You're having a debate with your friend, your mate. You're having a debate with your parents about this degree that you want to study. And they saying this and you saying this, but they don't get what you're saying. And then they're getting angry because they don't understand you. And now emotions are getting involved. And one's getting angry. Ah, I just want to take this person and ah. I'm not going to say the word, but that's a challenge. How do you manage your emotions? and bring facts and opinions and bring facts and data onto the table, onto the argument. How do you win the debate? How do you win the argument without using your emotions, right? To have a go at the person. That could be a challenge. And I know, look, no one is perfect. We all go through situations where our emotions get the best of us. What's important is to acknowledge that your emotions are getting the best of you and to find a way going forward. Solutions to those challenges, once again, 
as I said in one of the videos, is to learn, learn, learn. L-E-A-R-N. Powerful word in learn, ear. Ear function is to listen. L-I-S-T-E-N. The word listen has got the same letter words as the word silent. S-I-L-E-N-T. So listen to understand and not to reply. Listen to understand and not to reply. And also expose yourself to more information. Expose yourself to more facts. Expose yourself to more publications. Not just one website that you own to get all the data and all the facts. Expose yourself to more so that when you're having this debate and you're having this argument, you are loaded. It's like you're going to war. You're making sure that you are loaded with facts, with data, with evidence, evidence, with proof, right? Critical thinking. It's an essential skill that you need to grow and you need to develop. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of this, but I'm challenging you to go back to part one, go back to part two, go back to part three, this part, and continue to challenge yourself so that you can grow this critical skill, the skill of critical thinking. Until then, keep learning, keep growing your skill of critical thinking.